You're listening to Winnipeg's Classic 107. My name is Simon Rusnak. A special treat this morning, a 107 Live performance ahead of a unique concert taking place tomorrow at the University of Manitoba St. John's College. Joining me in studio are cellists Yuri Hooker and Olivia Wirch. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Well, thanks so much for being here. I, I mentioned that tomorrow night's concert is going to be a unique one, Yuri, in that it features entirely the music of one composer, a fellow by the name of Bernard Romberg. That's uh, right. First yeah. off, <laughs> who was Bernard Romberg? Bernard Romberg was one of the world's greatest um, cellists, who, one of the greatest cellists who's ever lived. He completely um, revolutionized some of cello technique and, and greatly contributed to modernizing the instrument. Um, Sounds like he's right alongside Luigi Baccarini, who you've mm-hmm. told us about before. We've had yeah. you on the program. You told us about how he was a great innovator and cellist himself. Mm-hmm. Um, how would you characterize Romberg's music? Well, his music changed a lot from when he was young to when he was older. He um, was a very successful musician. Um, he was a very good friend of, of Beethoven's as well. So at, at times his music sounds a little bit like he's Im- imitating Beethoven. Other times his music sounds a lot like he's in- heavily influenced by Rossini, who of course was yeah. the biggest yeah. you know, musical uh, figure at the time. Now, you have some, uh, in, in preparing for this concert, you've been doing a fair bit of digging and, mm-hmm. and, and, and prepping and learning more about um, Bernard Romberg. Got some pretty interesting stories to share about him and Beethoven, eh? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there, the, the, there's a crazy story about, so they met in Bonn, Beethoven's hometown, where, where uh, Romberg played in the court orchestra. And uh, they apparently decided to go to Vienna at the same time and to pay their passage on the boat. They both worked in the kitchen together. So they were old pals and from when they were in their early 20s. That's a wild story. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's something about Beethoven and his friends. You know, you just, you wonder. <laughs> yeah. you, you wonder. And so it's cool hearing those stories. And, and uh, Bernard Romberg, part of a, a musical family, his cousin uh, Andreas, a, a great violinist. We actually have a few of his recordings in the system. Mm. Um, what made you want to program an all Romberg recital? Well, it was, it was just kind of the way things worked out. I've always liked Romberg. I didn't know a lot about his music. There's a, a, a piece that I particularly enjoyed when I was a kid. But then as I started digging, um, I found that there was all this music, not just for students, but for for virtuoso, brilliant virtuoso music as well. Uh, a lot of music that he wrote, he wrote very little for cello and piano, actually, even though that's most of the way that you hear his music now. These are arrangements, as I, I didn't know this before, but those are actually arrangements. Hmm. The originals are for different scoring. Cello and string quartet is very common for Romberg. And then there's another um, scoring, which is the, also really unusual and unique to Romberg, which is solo cello, viola, and then accompanying cello, which, and it's a fantastic combination. Which, what a cool combo that yeah, is. I can't, yeah. can't really think of <laughs> the works that, that do that, but yeah, I mean, like, what yeah. a what a cool grouping that is. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, so tomorrow's recital, uh, a student recital taking place at St. John's College, and, and one of those students has accompanied you into the studio. Uh, welcome, Olivia. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Uh, so tell us a bit about yourself. How long have you been playing the cello? Um, well, I guess it's been 13 years now since I was four. I'm 17 now, so... Yeah. <laughs> wow. All right. All right. All right. So, um, and, and and have you always been studying with Yuri, or how long have you been studying with Yuri? Um, I've been studying with you about what four years? Something like that. Something yeah. like that. Before I was with Andrea Bell. Ah, uh, yes. Wonderful. Um, of the Winnipeg Youth Orchestra, yes. in addition to plenty of other spots as well. Yes. Um, um, yeah, and I started in Suzuki. So. Yeah. And and what is it about the cello that you know, as as a young player, as someone who's kind of continued these studies for thirteen years, what is it about your instrument that that you so enjoy? Um, I just I think making the music is just. It's a nice way to enjoy life. And um, I've made a lot of friends and connections throughout music, too, which has been super fun. And yeah. Connections and also had some successes. Um, I, I remember uh, the Winnipeg Youth Orchestra a little while back. You were you were a soloist, oh, right? right? You, yes. you, you've certainly had some <laughs> yes. some wins and some finalists and and uh, really, yeah. really excited to hear you playing in, in this recital tomorrow. So, so let me ask you the big question here. This is an all Romberg recital. What do you think of Romberg's music? <laughs> You know what? I'm excited for the concert tomorrow because I haven't actually listened to a lot of other stuff, but I really enjoyed this duet that we've been playing. So, mm-hmm. so yeah. you're going to be performing a duet. Are, are you performing in any other uh, numbers tomorrow? No, I'm just just doing the duet. So you get to take in the rest of the show. Yes, I do. That's not a bad way to uh, to experience some new music, is it? Not at all. No. Um, <laughs> one of the other things we were talking about just before we went to air is um, the acoustic of, of St. John's College. Have, mm-hmm. have you performed in there before? Yes, I think I have once. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. really resonant, yes, isn't it? it? Is. Like it's yeah. a wonderful, wonderful space. It's mm-hmm. gorgeous in there. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Yuri, let me ask you uh, to tell us a little bit more about the, the music on the program. Um, sure. Not all cello, 
right? <laughs> Not completely cello, although it all features the cello, yeah. So the first piece on the program will be the, well, you'll be hearing a little bit of an excerpt um, with me and Olivia, and then there'll be some music for that, the, some of those other combinations. The two pieces that I'm especially excited about for this um, are, are two pieces that I don't think have been played for 200 years, because wow. I kind of <laughs> found these um, parts and had to kind of make my own edition of them for, for two of my other students. Um, and the string quartet that will be uh, accompanying them, the cellist will kind of be swapping in and out for, of the string quartet or playing the solo. And the quartet is a group that I work with, uh, a group of students that I work with regularly as well. So those pieces, that one of them is called La Belle Bergère, or The Beautiful Shepherdess, which I, I have one of my students, Juliana um, Pauls, will be playing. And the other one is The Troubadour, um, with Jonah Hebert will be performing that piece. I'm really excited about those two. Um. First off, music that hasn't been heard in, in 200 years is mm -hmm. always a cool show. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, apart from performing performing in this one, mm -hmm. for you as, as a teacher, what's it like putting these student recitals together and, and seeing your, your students perform? Uh, it's hard to describe, but it's it's just an incredible, you know, uh, pride in them and the work that they've done. Um, and uh, just to see their excitement as they discover what they can do and, and to actually bring something that that hasn't been um, uh, the, to unearth something that hasn't been around for such a, such a long time is it's really neat for me to see the excitement in them and to see how they've tackled um, these challenges uh, as well um, is it's just a real thrill for me. So uh, tomorrow's concert is free of charge. Is That's that right. right? Yep. So yep. all the more reason to head on down. Yeah. Um, there's ample, I know this is always a Winnipeg thing. There's ample parking that is available. It's <laughs> yep. at the university. At that time of, of day, yep. There's, <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. At that time of the day, the concert <laughs> begins at uh, 7 p.m. in the chapel Correct. of St. John's College. <laughs> We're going to hear one number. You're both here, cellos in hand. Mm -hmm. What are we going to hear? So this is from an Opus 9 sonata for two cellos by, by Romberg. Um, this Opus 9, this set... They're really um, equal parts, both cello parts. So there's not a solo part and an accompanying part on these ones. Um, these are also very rarely heard. There's a mm. couple uh, other sets of sonatas that are that are done. I did find one YouTube video of this <laughs> sonata, um, but very few people know this this music as well. So we're going to do um, the first movement of the the, the in slow introduction, and then the very end, which is the kind of the coda uh, quick section. All right, so I'll let you both uh, set up. Um, for those listening, again, the uh, concert taking place tomorrow, 7 o'clock in the uh, chapel at St. John's College, University of Manitoba, uh, a concert that is free of charge. It features prominently the cello in addition to other instruments as well in various combinations, all highlighting the music of this uh, rarely heard composer, unless you happen to be a cellist, um, music of, of Bernard Romberg. So a wonderful opportunity to discover his music as we hear a little bit of it now, a 107 Live performance with Yuri Hooker and Olivia work.
Live in the Classic 107 studio, we just heard cellists Yuri Hooker and Olivia Wirch performing music of Bernard Romberg. You can experience more of his music tomorrow at St. John's College, University of Manitoba, 7 p.m., a free recital. Yuri, Olivia, thanks for being here this morning.